Demand for supplies has only increased since the pandemic began. 41 Anxious reporter Andres Gutierrez explains how it's made an impact on the shipping industry working to deliver the products you need. We're feeling the effects of this more than we have anything else. Though there's a steady stream of activity at the Intermodal in Edgerton, Kansas, business is hurting. Volumes are down close to about 40% uh, um, as we see the effects of COVID. Keith Sarnell runs the Kansas City office of the OEC Group, a company that facilitates international shipping. We've seen uh, some of the ports close down for a day or so. Uh, we've seen some of the, uh, the local warehouses um, that have remained operational, but now down to skeleton crews. With an increased demand for goods, companies are adapting on the fly. Our distribution networks made really quick adjustments as the demand for products that were used at schools and restaurants decreased sharply almost overnight. All the while, the demand for the supplies increased in our grocery stores. We continue to make adjustments and get better every day. Sarnell says the current crisis will make a deeper impact on cargo traveling through the Kansas City region in the weeks to come, but believes the area is prepared for it. We've become, you know, I think a, an industry of curveballs. So, you know, essentially, you know, between the the port lockouts and the uh, steamship line bankruptcies, uh, as well as the China trade war, um, you know, we're dealing with this and adjusting with these things all the time. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.